Frank Maloney. Frank Maloney from Lewis's management team. He may be a small man in stature, but he's a big man in boxing. American TV are paying me 3.5 million. Tyson is not in the issue priority, it's to win the title. Lenny, I'm coming for you. I want your heart, I want to eat his children. I can't believe what I'm saying. He knows what he can eat. I'm going to leave the ring with the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. I thought this was really brilliantly done. Um, a subject that I've never heard of. I've never heard of Kelly, but I wanted to just know more. I think what was really striking is we got all of the accomplishments that she had when she was Frank in in the boxing world. And we get this full flood of all the masculine testosterone filled activity, um, the aggression needed for that, being on top of the world. And then you get the visual of what Kelly is now. And I just think the disparity, what makes Kelly such an interesting top a subject is that that juxtaposition between coming and succeeding at such a male dominated, yet yeah, testosterone heavy aggression heavy life to to make that transition to to be a female is uh, a striking and brave journey and I think what I really appreciated about this doc was that there was that honesty throughout the journey and you could really feel the immensity of the risk and the sacrifice in order to live her truth and um, I thought there was a great array of of subjects and people interviewed to give more backstory and to to give their perspective on on their connection and and how this journey panned out for them and how they witnessed it for for Kelly. I also think it was really effective in terms of you know not glossing over the difficult parts and the sacrifices needed. So overall, I thought that this was a brilliant. Brilliant doc, great pacing. It's truly inspiring. Um, I think it's very important to have figures like this in our society, people who are of this kind of status and very open and honest about their transition and their experience and their internal struggle, even while they were at the top. I thought that was beautiful. Um, I think the transition from the male to the female identity in the beginning was a really cool transition. I think that really was a very great statement to make from the jump. Um, I think kind of starting off, you know, building him up to be this um, machismo type of man. You know, he's in boxing, he manages all the, the top boxers, the un undisputed heavyweight champions, and not knowing that he, as in Frank Maloney, the whole time wanted to kill himself, wants to be a woman, all these things to um, that he's not able to fulfill how he feels inside. Um, I think the old... Um, photos with um, her voiceovers, I think, um, you know, our cargo footage of, of when she was at, she was he at his peak time. I think that was very interesting. I think having the interviews with the family has really also helped to hit home because it helped to show that the transition isn't just for you. It's also everyone you love and everyone around you who has gotten used to you being a certain way. And now they have to learn to love you as you are. So I think it's very beautiful. I think seeing her journey from him to her and, you know, now sitting in her truth and, you know, looking back on her, um, her dead name and her dead self. Um, I think it was very beautiful. And I think seeing, um, how complicated it was seeing how she had to find her way back to boxing and find that love of boxing again, you know, when it had so much to do with, um, her previous life was very interesting. The cinematography was stunning. Um, I loved the interviews. I loved getting a chance to listen to Frank Kelly um, talk about their life and their experiences and also the interviews with the family. It gave you a chance to to know her on on a deeper level and to understand the journey that she went through with everything. So I loved the use of past photographs, past footage. I thought that that was really clever in the way that they did that. Um, but most of all, this was so inspiring. I felt like way to go in being true to yourself and being brave enough to stand up for what you know 
feels right to you. It was such an interesting and honest documentary. Um, I say honest because it really didn't feel sugarcoated at all. Even with all the personal accounts and interviews, nobody seemed to be backtracking to make themselves look better or, you know, not giving us everything that they were feeling. Um, it really just felt like everyone was very honest and real with their account and, you know, talking about everything that they were feeling in the moment, even if those things were negative or would make them look bad. They recounted everything and, and held themselves accountable, which I thought was really cool. Um, but Kelly's life was so interesting and to juxtapose her life as a boxing manager, uh, with her life transitioning, just thought that was a really interesting, uh, juxtaposition there. Um, just the major alpha male energy in the boxing world, which is a very feminine energy in her transition, of course. Um, but yeah, I thought they did a really great job of, uh, balancing both parts of her life. Uh, transitioning between the two. Um, this documentary definitely had some very personal looks into Kelly's life. I loved all of the interviews that they had compiled, just had such great footage from every aspect of Kelly's life um, and very personal footage as well with her even talking into her phone, her camera herself and talking to us directly as viewers. We had interviews from Kelly when she was frank before her transition and then now and everyone in between also interviews with her family before um before our transition and now um yeah I, I love that we got accounts from all of her family and everybody close to her um and also they also had added some reenactments in there as well to get us even an even better picture of, uh, of the story and her life so we really got so uh, such a rich collection of footage of Kelly's life and to help us understand what was happening. A lot of our tackles, themes for LGBT plus community and the influential people and sort of placing them in the spotlight with Kelly Maloney. I love how we get to see her journey from the formerly known as Frank Maloney to who she is today and becoming this role model for the LGBTQI plus community and this award winning advocate. This documentary shines a bright light on the trans community and shows the world that no two journeys are the same. So well done in creating this fascinating and eye-opening documentary. I love that title to start with. It was very clever and so on point. I really enjoyed looking at this title and then watching it. This down-to-earth, honest account of a story of real life coming to terms with an instinct, an instinct, a longing for a different reality, a longing for finding purpose and identity. Um, the detailed journey of becoming a real, the real self that they know it's down there and it's been hidden for so many years. Overcoming the fear in a very male dominated profession, absolutely admirable. And the lost and gain in the way relationships, the sense of purpose, and then regained and evolved into something full, complete, and it's just a beautiful, moving story, and it was very beautifully told, with testimonials from family members and friends, and uh, even some of the people that they, they managed through the career. It, it was a very nicely told story, good close-ups, very nice scripts.